the code blue in effect for Atlantic City. There was a large effort to get as many men, women, and children off the streets during these extreme weather conditions. Teresa Gordon has the details on how the Atlantic City Rescue Mission plans on accommodating all those who are in need. Freezing temperatures, blistering winds, and snow flurries. Winter weather conditions all contributing to an overflow of people flocking to the Atlantic City Rescue Mission. We do get more people in the colder weather, so we have, uh, you know, overflow beds, and we serve men, women, and children. Um, and so in weather like this, what we'll do is we'll have, uh, we'll use this whole cafeteria for additional overflow. With the Atlantic City Office of Emergency declaring a code blue, the rescue mission has doubled its efforts to accommodate as many people as possible. Uh, well, we're definitely, we operate as a uh, emergency relief shelter for the city. And so the police will bring people in if they uh, don't have a place to go. And we have our uh, street outreach team that's working with people and also working with the police to get people out of the cold. Um, Officer Lentz and myself, ACPD, have been out uh, just making an effort to make sure that people who are out in the street or may not have any other place to go are aware of the code blue and uh, that they know that our doors are open. We are kind of patrolling the city, the tourism district, uh, throughout the boardwalk, the outlet area, some other places we know where uh, people congregate, you know, and when they're trying to stay warm. And so we're hitting all the hot spots that we know um, just in an effort to meet their need. Atlantic City Rescue Mission will provide shelter during the remainder of the storm. Hot meals and other accommodations are available to those who wish to use their facility. Nobody has to, you know, bear this coldness outside. Or the great thing that they do is uh, it's a lot of people out here with a lot of nowhere to go. You know what I mean? Nobody wants, like I said, nobody wants to be out here. The Atlantic City Police Department has available transportation for those who wish to stay at the rescue mission. In Atlantic City, Charlisa Gordon, NBC 40 News.